Hello and welcome to update 2 on what is now Category 1 Tropical Cyclone Riley, re-peaking now with winds of 75 miles an hour. Currently at a latitude of 17.8 degrees south, longitude 115.1 degrees east as of 4 o'clock UTC. Currently on the CDPS scale, no projected CDPS has been given to the storm due to the fact that it is not expected to hit land, therefore meaning a projected CDPS cannot be given at this time. Either way though, the storm could cause high surf for places in Australia on the uh, western side of things. And now you can see right here, um, it is looking like it doesn't have any watches or warnings in effect right now. There's a category one, you can see there its current location. Although again, no CDPS scale to speak of. So here's how far away it is from different land areas, from Karatha, 205 miles, from Exmouth, um, 277, from Marble Bar, 329, and from Broome, 407. Again, like I said before, no watches or warnings are in effect at this time. Still though, the storm could bring high surf and tropical storm force wind gusts, um, although chances of tropical storm force winds overall are low. Here's what the model data is showing. This is what it looks like right now as we are going in to uh, Sunday. Here's what we're looking at into Monday. You can see the storm really starting to swirl off. It is going to weaken significantly as it does so, and no land interaction is expected with Riley at this time. Uh, you can see it moving out to sea there, looking relatively uh, weak, and then you can see another tropical cyclone moving in behind it that could most definitely be a potential issue. So here we are with sea surface temperatures. Those are looking like they are pretty good for the storm. Around 30 to 31 degrees Celsius where the storm is currently located, although those temperatures do begin to drop off uh, later on in the storm's life. So here's Riley's forecast in wind. You can see the winds there, tropical storm force for a while. None of those impacting land, and you can see it barely holding on to tropical storm status by the time it moves off of your map on Wednesday. You can see that other tropical cyclone I was talking about could be a tropical depression up there. There's another tropical low, but no impacts to land are expected. So Karatha has a 5% chance of tropical storm force wind. So does Leemouth, and so does Carnarvon at 10%, Marble Bar and Broom and 0%. Currently intensity, looking like that peak at category one is expected to remain, and wind shear is expected to go down for the storm over the next couple of days. Here's where the storm is moving. Sea surface temperatures expected to drop off and mid-level humidity is expected to um, remain. Here's the satellite imagery. Satellite imagery for the storm, not looking the most organized ever with a convective burst, but still looking good enough for now. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find us on Facebook, Force 13, all in text. And it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us there. If you want it to feel like Christmas every other week, you can also become a Patreon on the project. You can help Force 13 become even better in the process. Find out more information at patreon.com forward slash force 13.